Hey there, good morning. Welcome back to Elk Mountain. We are leaving the stockyards here. I was looking through the classifieds and found an old New Holland hay rake listed for sale. Thought that would be a good addition to the farm. It was really reasonably priced. So not a whole lot as far as cost. Uh, they said it was down here through the cattle gap and sitting over in the woods somewhere. I see it over there. They used to cut and bell their own hay here to feed the animals here at the stockyard. But they hadn't done so in years. They have now just started buying hay instead of having to bell it up themselves. So we got this double hay rake set up here. We're going to get this back down to the farm and start raking up the hay that's on the ground. It is nice and dry and ready to be baled. Luckily, this is not too far away from the house, so we can just ease down the road here. We will have to hop on the main highway for just a little ways, but I think we'll be okay. We can go slow enough and avoid the traffic. So yesterday when Cajun Larry was down at the house eating barbecue, he started talking about some of the uh, things going on up there in the hills by Oak Mountain Ranch. I didn't get the whole story, but it appears that they have quite the influence on the folks around these parts. Uh, it sounds like a lot of folks do work for them. So, come to find out, there's an operation going on up there in the hills that they would like to keep quiet. They're running moonshine. Let's cut across the grass here. Yep, they have a still up there in the hills, which is part of the reason why they wanted the barley. They needed that to help with the uh, production of the moonshine. So, that's very interesting. I was surprised that Cajun Larry told me that. But now, things are starting to make sense. So, I am going to uh, go ahead and hook up this rake here to the tractor. And we're going to ease down to the hay field. And I uh, get started here. So yeah, with that information, it is uh, quite interesting. I do still need to get in contact with the folks out there at Elk Mountain Ranch. Because I don't know where they are going to want me to take this barley. Because I believe it is going to be ready very soon. I imagine once we get done with this hay, It'll be about time for the barley to be ready. So we're going to have to uh, start getting that up off the field for the contract. I just don't know where to take it. We may have to swing by there real soon. And have a little chat. Alright, so let's get this thing unhooked here. See if I can get it connected. Luckily, these things are fairly light. I can move them around a, a bit by hand if I need to. Let's see. So one of these rakes faces left and the other faces right. So let me get these things hooked up here. Uh, the correct way. Let's see. We're going to need this one here on the left side it looks like. I'm going to swing around actually. I'm not going to be able to back that up. We're going to get over here close and then I'll just push it over by hand. I think I should be able to do that. They're not very heavy. I 
Oops, I might be able to just back right into that one. Let's see here. Uh, a little bit off. That ain't gonna happen. Let me do this by hand. Alright, we got both of them connected here and both of them are running so it should just pull the grass there into the middle and that is working out really well these things don't require a whole lot of horsepower to pull along uh, they are just wheel driven there so no PTO shaft hydraulics anything this is old school hay rakes right here but they work just fine the great thing about this is it did not cost me very much at all. So that's really going to be a help for the bank account. So it's going to take me quite a bit of time here to get around this field. Be raking hay for quite some time. Got a big field here. A lot of hay. Hopefully, turns into a lot of money. So we're making our way around the field here. And this these rakes are doing a fine job here. Very easy to pull around. They go around the curves really well. So I'm very pleased with this setup here. Uh, the only thing is now we need a bale and I did go ahead and purchase a baler and a bell wagon from the dealership and they went through it real quick this morning made sure everything was all ready to go and they're gonna actually bring it down to me uh, they're gonna have a driver drop it off so that uh, I didn't have to stop what I'm doing so that was really nice of them they knew I was out here trying to get this hay up today so they went ahead and offered that service they're not very far down the road so that is uh, actually really convenient to have them that close to this farm so hopefully that'll get here pretty soon and we can get started bailing I'm probably gonna have to stop with a raking because I'm starting to get where I need to start doing some rows here and trying to go over these outside as says here these outside windrows may get a little messy so what I'd like to do is if the baler would hurry up and arrive then I can hook to it try to go ahead and bail up some of these outside rows and then finish up the middle of the field nice little setup here with the dual rakes one rake would be a little small trying to get that done but with the dual rake set up here it's actually going pretty quick just gonna go ahead and make a turn here we'll come back and get that scrap later so this will be our fourth pass here around the field Oh, and look at there. It looks like the uh, hay wagon is... The baler and the hay wagon is arriving. That is perfect timing. He's got traffic backed up there. Now, well, what can you do? All right. That is awesome. I'll go over here and flag him down. All right, the technician's taken off there back down to the dealership. He went ahead and got me set up here, helped me get hooked up, and we went ahead and started up the baler, pulled some grass into it just to make sure everything is working. You see it is there. See in there, it is already starting a bale, so everything seems to be functioning good. So we're going to get going here. pick up lower down there and let's go ahead and start 
baling up some of this grass. Now this is a small baler. It's making these small bales here. Uh, but we'll get these stacked on the trailer. And we may have to make a couple trips. But that'll be okay. What is going on here? We got a problem here. What's going on? Let's see. I'm not sure why that is working out there. There we go. Seems to be working out pretty good now. So yeah, we just have a lot of bailing to do. It's going to take a lot of time today. So we're going to run around the outside here. Try and go ahead and get these headland passes done. And then as soon as we have that cleared out, we can go back to raking. And hopefully, between all of that, we'll get some of this hay sold. All right, well, I've made it around the field about one and a half times. So, the trailer's full. We need to get it sold. And I decided to go ahead and use the truck here to run it over to the location to sell. And that way I wasn't having to use the tractor. I unhooked the baler, hook up the trailer, and then come back and unhook everything and rehook it all back up again. So, we're going to use the pickup and pull the pull the wagon and then we'll bring it back over here to the tractor I think this will work okay get pulled around here and get the wagon connected there we go alright now we should be able to just ease around the field here and take it over and get us old all right, lucky thing is, we only have to run right across here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost made a mistake there. Yeah, Cliff over here at the feed store said he'd buy all the hay we could make. So we're going to run it over here and uh, see what he'll give me for this first load. Well, that wasn't too bad. 7500 bucks, And that's one time around the field. This is going to be a good day. I feel like we're going to make a lot of money today. And that's going to come in very handy. So we'll get back over here to the tractor. And get the wagon hooked up. And continue on with the bailing. Well, I'm on my last strip of raking here. Last couple strips here. Got the rest of the field raked up. Ended up doing a little bit more baling there on the outskirts. So we've got that all cleaned up. And we have a little bit more raking here to go. And then I can get back on the baler and finish up this field. I do not like this rock and trees right here in the middle uh, that is a little bit of a pain I do need to do some work around it to try and clean it up a bit and keep the equipment off of it maybe try and create a border or something around it to help things out so anyhow the raking is done and we will get back to the baler well the field has been baled and got all the grass built up and i'm on my last load over here to the feed store we're gonna get this we'll get this sold and call it a day i actually spent about thirty thousand dollars in equipment today and made about twenty three thousand selling hay so i lost a little bit of money 
lost a little progress there, but I do have some equipment. So that is a good thing. The next time we work on this hayfield, it'll basically be all profit. So that is a very good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this down here, clean everything up, and then we'll probably go ahead and grab the sprayer and uh, go ahead and uh, put some more fertilizer out on that grass. Make sure it is growing uh, as good as it can. And then tomorrow I am expecting the barley to be ready. So hopefully that will be the case. Big problem. I don't have a combine. May have to check with the dealer and see if they have one I can rent. Uh, they do have some used models down there, so maybe they will lease some out to me. Lease one out to me. Not real sure. So, we'll have to see. But, the hay is done. And, we're moving forward from here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Uh, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I thank each of you for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.